hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be filming my makeup collection again for the third time hopefully it works out this time first time fireball deleted it second time i didn't like how it turned out and now i'm just gonna do it again because honest to god it needs to do a well. and i bought some new stuff so yeah <laughs> So before y'all get all upset, yes, I did film this look. I filmed it before I started videoing this, obviously. But yeah, uh, my hair won't wash, so we'll not talk about the state of my hair right now. But yeah, this is my third time filming this goddamn collection. So let's get this over. I bought, an, I bought a new ring light. I bought a couple mirrors. My mic is on its way. Well, it's in Jamaica, but I just haven't picked it up yet, so can't arrest me for that. But yeah, let's get this started. We're going to do this in the same uh, order that I do my uh, makeup because otherwise I'm going to forget half the things in this collection. So let's get this thing started. Okay, so the first thing I do before I do anything on my face is just my moisturizer. I use my aloe vera gel. It's 92% aloe vera gel um, and water and glycerin or some shit. But this is the first thing I use because um, I have oily skin, especially in my T-zone. So what I do is that I realize that gel-based moisturizers work better on my skin than like a cream moisturizer. I use a cream moisturizer in the night and like in winter, but not now. In the daytime yeah this is what I use uh, then I'll go in with my raspberry seed oil I wear this as a sunscreen really because like all the sunscreens that I see or try they make me look purple I am not worried from only one I'm sorry so I use my raspberry seed oil and then sometimes I'll use olive oil like as a sealant, as a sealant, because like I use it in my hair, so I just put it on my face. I'm probably not supposed to, but me. Yeah. Then, after all of that, I use primer. Now I use two primers, not not at the same time, but I use my Sacha mattifier and my LA Girl Pro Prep. Yeah. But I use these, as I said, I have oily skin. So when I use this one, it mattifies my skin a whole lot. So I don't use my matte foundations with this because it dries down my skin so much. That, but that's when I'm like going somewhere and I'm going to be wearing makeup for the entire day. That's when I would use this. This one is a more everyday one because it's not as mattifying. It's more blurring, whereas this one mattifies. After obviously after primer, it's gonna be foundation. So I have three foundations and two mixes. So my first foundation is uh, my Milani Two in One. This is in shade number fourteen, Golden Toffee. So this is a full coverage foundation. I used the first time I used this, I didn't realize how full coverage it was, and I used two pumps. And for the entire time, I was, I was there for like half an hour trying to blend out this foundation because I will not wipe it off. So I have this one. And I have this from LA Girl. It's their pro coverage. It's, it's like light to maybe medium. Like if you build it up like two or three layers, you get medium from this one. Uh, this is in shade rich cocoa but it's it's really red and I have golden undertone so I have to use a yellow corrector with this and finally I have my Maybelline Superstay this is in shade 360 in mocha and this is a, this is really matte this is full coverage this is medium to full coverage it's not as full coverage as this one but it's what I'm wearing now anyway but like yeah this, this is what I'm wearing right now uh, then I have this one. Uh, this is a mixture I made. This is a mixture of this and my old uh, Maybelline Fit Me in 360. But that one was finishing and I needed a new foundation. So I just put what was left of it in this and mixed it with this. I don't really use these much anymore because I 
I have three other foundations, so I don't really have to use these. And I have this one, which is a mixture of this and I think my Milani. You know, honestly, I'm gonna remember. I think this was Superstay and Milani. I don't remember. Okay. So after I do my foundation, it's concealer time. Now obviously I have a whole lot. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven LA Girl and one Maybelline. Now this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Hazelnut. Now this is what I'm wearing right now. I have it under my eye, my forehead and right here. I didn't put it on my nose, I put one of these on my nose. But yeah, this is like, it's a dream to blend out. It's like so soft. But not soft, you know what I mean. But it's just like, it's so smooth. That's the word I'm looking for. It is so smooth, like you wouldn't believe, like honestly. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing right now. I don't really use this one a lot because this is, I paid what? About $1,700 for this. So, as you can see, I was using it a whole lot, and I'm like, no, this is too expensive for you so often. So, it says $1,700 I paid for this. I'm not going to use it unless it's like a really special occasion, but for right now, nobody just want to use it again. And uh, then I have these. This is the orange corrector. I usually use this, well, obviously for correcting when I'm doing all uh, like under eye bags and all uh, that jazz. This, I never know a set of glitter in a it. I thought it was a white that I could use to lighten my other concealers. But no, I went to reach home, I realized it, it have glitter. I can't use it. So it's literally brand new. The only time I used it was when I opened it to use it and realized it was a big mistake. So I have this. Then I have what is this? This is beautiful bronze. This is my skin tip, my skin tone. Uh, so I use this to conceal my mustache and for like spot treatments for this one. And then we have mm, this is fun. This used to be my highlight shade until I realized that it's a shade too light. So I had to go down a shade because I used to have to mix it with my beautiful bronze to get a nice, uh, like to get like this color. So this is, but I use this now to prime my lids. I use it to prime my lids to put this on. I know I should buy a primer, but you know, this is cheap and easy to use and it works just the same. So I mean, and then I have Toffee. This is my highlight shade when I'm using this uh, LA Girl. But this is what I usually use because it's it's a shade darker than Fawn. So I use this as my highlight shade. It's what I have on my nose. Uh, yeah, this one. And this is the yellow that I bought to use with the uh, foundation with the LA Girl foundation. I sometimes use it with, use it with the Milani because the Milani has a tinge of red. So I use this and I also use it to like lighten my fawn when I'm like doing like yellow. I use it to like lighten the fawn a bit. And then I have my mahogany. I use this to contour as you can see. I have it on my nose. I have it here. And yeah. On my five head. I have three powders. But honestly I only use like one of them. <laughs> as if you, if you know me you know I only use one powder. But I have three. So. Uh, let me bring this up. This is the LA Girl uh, Pro Pro Powder, the HD Powder. Now this is supposed to be in this, but it's really fine. It gets everywhere, so I, like, I wanted something that's much more manageable, so I put it in this. This is the J Cat uh, Setting Powder. Uh, I use this as a face setting powder, not really for under eye because it's it's a little bit closer to my skin tone, so I use this to set my face. So this should be in here and this should be in here, but yeah, this is really messy, so I had to switch it out. I 
and then I have my holy grail my satchel buttercup it's what I'm wearing right now it's what I'm always wearing it's what I use to set my face set my eyes set set everything honest to god I'm always using this anytime I'm wearing makeup I will put on my concealer alone I'll do my brows well just that like comb them through do my brows put on concealer put this on I put on lipstick no foundation just this because my lazy but yeah this is my photo the brows so I don't use brow pomades really because I mean I've never well I've never tried one so I don't want to say I've, I, I don't use them I've never tried one what I do is I do I use pencils I use I generally have two pencils that I use, a brown, a regular generic brown and a black. Now I'm wearing the black right now, More time, most times I'm wearing black, most times. Because like the brown, honestly the brown doesn't look too natural on me, it looks, maybe I need to get a darker brown but the brown, this brown don't look too natural on me, it looks kind of weird. So I use a black and just blend it out, as you can see. And it matches my hair so, I mean it looks more natural. I remember when uh, somebody told me that I shouldn't wear black because it makes me look garish, but I don't see it. Yeah, I'm gonna see it now until. Let's see, I'm trying to save like my palettes for last, but I think I'm gonna have to do them now because after I do my brows, uh, uh, the rest of my stuff like my blush and my bronze and all them stuff that are in palette so let's let's go there so my regular go to a uh, brush mm -hmm. blush is in this palette this is the LA girl glam palette it has two blushes a bronzer which honest to god can bronze me because it's lighter than my skin so I just use it as face powder and the highlighter now the highlighter is like really not like blinding it's like more subtle like it's there I mean it is but it's not like oh here I am it's not like a, a, a what name? Lighthouse? Yeah, that thing. So yeah, I use this for like subtle, what I'm going for subtle is. I'll t I tend to like mix these two. Honestly, I'll mix these two because this is a tad too pink and this just don't show up. So this kind of diffuses this, so I'll just mix them. And then for uh, powder contour, let's bring these over here. powder contour is the city color contour palette now I've had this for over five years now what if me that it has a shelf life of 12 months but I've had it for over five years I've had this since high school I left high school almost five years ago and I bought it in lower six form so you're yeah, going on six years I use this to contour as you can see this this practically done. Technically, it is done, but it's not done yet. Cast off still the bronzer gone. Long time, my mother dropped it and it disappeared. And this is the highlighter. I don't use it because it's white and it don't look good for me. Mm -mm. Use it. And then I have my highlighting palette. My highlighting palette is from Beauty Creations. It's what I'm wearing now. Uh, it kind of fell. What is it? And like the thing. So I had to fix it back. So this is the one I'm always wearing. It's what I'm wearing right now. So it's what I'm wearing right now. I tend to like mix them honestly. Because I don't really care. So I mix them up and just wear it. Because it looks good. Um then after that I'll set my face because by this time my face is well dry and as much as I have oily skin, I don't want my skin to be dry. So I'll set my face with my Satcha uh, Fix It Spray. Yeah, so I'll set it with this. This is done. 
I don't know if you can hear that it done it literally done this is just a little drop in there so I need to buy it back I have another setting spray but like that's what when I'm actually done my face so yeah this to set my face and then hmm what do I do next yeah this is where I reach my eyes so Wow, I got powder everywhere. So my first ever eyeshadow palette was this. The LA Girl Nudes. This was my first, first eyeshadow palette that I bought. Well, not even that. It is the first ever one. As you can see, it's been through a lot. This is finished. These are, you can see the ones I use the most. I use glitters this brown this this was just an unfortunate event this was this just a drop one time yeah I drop shit a lot it tends to happen uh, and then I have um, the smoky so I have this one as well no, this has gone through a lot as well. The black is done because I use black a lot and it's the minimal way. But we use enough. What is this? This this brown is practically done. I've hit panning these two. I've hit panning the silver as well, which is really surprising because I rarely use it. So I'm gonna know. Oh, oh yeah. Um and then I have this one. This one actually doesn't have a name. I mean, it was. I don't even know where I got this from, honestly. It has some nice colors though. They're not really pigmented, but I mean, it worked kind of a last year and it did look good, so I mean, it worked something. Uh, uh, my first real actual palette not to bash the LA girl they're good for beginner when I was just starting they are the reason why I can do this now but my first actual palette was the Juvia's Place Zulu this is my first first real palette I bought this in summer I think yeah as you can see, I have used this palette a lot because as I said, I really like this palette. I bought it for the yellow, but honest to God, the yellow not all that on me. And I have to work really hard to get the yellow to show up on me in this one. But I use I use it a lot. I, I use this this one. No. I use this one as bronzer sometimes. I use this as blush. What I do, I mix this, these two, when I want a nice coral shade, I mix the yellow and the orange, and I use this as highlighter. <laughs> I mean, I pay three thousand five hundred dollars for it. I mean, the least it can do is be a blush highlighter and contour more time. My second palette was the Morphe Thirty Five B. Uh, trying this up. Uh, I always can't open these, like honestly. Like, what did he just do? Lock the mid blouse and skirt, man. Open! Okay, yeah. The Morphe 35B. This was my second palette, as you can see. I really like purple, I hit pan. And I'm not, I, I, I don't use it because honest to God, they discontinued it and I, I, I'm not gonna let it finish. So yeah, you know so I haven't used half the shades in these as yet, I don't know. Cause I don't use I don't use any of these. I don't use this. I haven't used any of these. I don't use these two. I haven't used this or this. I can't remember using these. Brother. My body cannot use it. What a blows and skirt. <laughs> Alright, who this? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I tend to forget what I'm doing something. My next palette was uh yeah, I, I was I was filming, I'm sorry, there's a whole lot of dust of these. Is my masquerade palette by Juvia's face as well. Here it is. I really like this palette because you have the neutral stone here. We have the colors up here, so I like really like it. And then it goes well with my Zola palette. But one thing though, I wish that this shade was like a dark, cool tone brown because this this Zulu is the exact shade, same shade. It's the exact same shade of brown that's in the Zulu palette. So I don't need it for them. I like I wish it was a cool tone, a dark cool tone brown, but like meh. Eh, it, it can work. I have used it. I, I'll use it when the Zulu done. My next palette. The holy grail of my collection right now. The one that's on my eyes. The one that's my my blush and my my uh, bronzer right now is let's bring this up the James Charles palette. No, this palette is bomb. This yellow is bomb. Like mm, you don't know. I I bought the Zulu palette. I bought the uh. The Morphe 35B for the yellow alone. Honestly, I'm gonna be the other colors. I just wanted a mama's yellow that actually showed up on my skin. This, like, y'all don't understand. Do you see this? Do you see? Do you see this yellow? I don't understand. Let me open this up. Like for sure, yeah. I still have it in the box. I still have it. In the, I still have it in the bubble wrap to show you. Hold on, hold on. It's it's doing a thing. Why are you thinking like this? You can have your like a party. Oh my. Yeah. I literally paid $9,000 for this. My mother's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. I, I usually throw these away, but I'm not gonna throw this away. I told so me I keep every goddamn thing. But this is my pal. Like. Like. B is the best goddamn yellow I've ever used. You don't understand. But like, yeah, I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing, uh, let's go out. I'm wearing B, uh, Escape, Skip. I think those are the only three. Yeah, because I use Escape, and then I use Skip, and then I use B. Yeah, so the, they're the only three that I have on right now. Oh, wait, no, I have on, um, hold on. I mix, uh, I mix 10% off and, uh, no beans. I mix 10% off this one and no beans to use as a bronzer because it, you can see the evidence for yourself. It looks really nice as a bronzer. And I wear um uh, what's this name again? I wear love that as bronze. I use this as bronze. I use this. This is my highlight, my brow one highlight. Sometimes I use this as blush as well. What did I say I use this as? I use this as blush. I use love that as blush. It's this one. But yeah, this palette is, is so good, like you don't even understand. I have so many pictures on my phone with me using this palette. I have two videos of me using this palette, but I haven't uploaded them for some reason because I haven't finished editing them because I have to work and go to school. Yeah, the struggle. 
Uh, let's put this back in here because as I said, nine grand may I keep every damn thing. I have two eyeliners that I use. I have the City Color Extreme Bold Liquid Liner. Now I've been using this for a couple months and like I think a couple weeks ago I had a bad allergic reaction to it that I think that's one of the reasons why I have I haven't uploaded the other videos yet because I had such a bad allergic reaction that I couldn't even open this eye it was like this it was so swollen so I'm not using this one anymore so I have the elf cream liner and this is the one that I'm wearing right now I use this in my I've been using this for a long time I use it in my Halloween video for the black but yeah this is what I'm wearing right now as you can see it's really nice it's really creamy it literally in the name it creamy and then I have my mascara I have the Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Concealer Mascara yeah I have this one I'm wearing this right now oh I forgot to do bottom Lash mascara. I never remember that I didn't do my bottom lashes because I usually do it before I put on my lashes, but I never remember. And I have this one from City Color as well. I don't really like this one because the bristles are weird. Like they're like long and short, and it's just weird. So it comes on my eyelashes, and I don't like that. No, I use, no, I'm wearing some new lashes now, but uh, before I used to use some generic lashes from uh, BPS8706, it's an Instagram store, they're, I have them in this, they're like, I need to wash them, well, I need to clean them and wash them because it's 15 and I'm going to pay for the pack of 10, so they're like really good and I wear them over and over again. And these are from Lovely Lashes. I bought them yesterday. This is for nine hundred dollars. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, let's see. Yeah. 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 You can see they're like really nice. They're like so long, but they're like so wispy at the same time. Like I don't even understand how they do, but it's so awesome. So yeah. That is what I have. So I have my glitters. I have four glitters. These are from JCat. They're like really fine. I haven't used them in a while because glitter gets ever freaking weird. The last time I used glitters was in Halloween and it was... Yeah, so the last time I used glitter was on Halloween and it was like hell to wash off. So I haven't used them after that. Okay, so my lip is, I have these from City Color, they're like two reds, this one is Lana and this one is Sammy, Sammy is like an orangey red, so I don't really wear it by itself, I never wear orangey reds by themselves because like, I, I just feel like they don't look good on me, and I have this one, this is more like a deeper, it's like, yeah, as you can see it's more like a dark red, it's more like a blue toned red. So I wear this by itself more than I wear Sammy. Uh, let's clean this off. I forgot that these stain. Yeah. And then I have these two from LA Colors. This is a purple. This is more like a, a plumish, deepish, reddish, purpley color. I it just it says purple but it's not and then I have this one this is a red I don't wear these often really honestly I don't wear them often I just have them there just in case then I have these are from a muse they're metallic lips I bought them and I can honestly say I've never worn them ever I don't even know why I bought them, but yeah, I have this one. This is more like a fuchsia. Well, no, magenta. This one is a fuchsia one. Yeah. So, and I honestly, I've never worn them. I don't even know why I bought them. Uh, look at my angle. I have these. I have 
have this. This one is, is what I'm wearing right now. I ombre it with this pink from LA. Where is this? LA Girl? Yeah. It, it kind of been through a lot. So I wear this one. This is a, a LA Girl Glazes. This is like three different glazes mixed together. And then I ombre it with this. So that's why to match my eyes. So these. Then I have, let's see. These are from Maybelline. This is black and this is purple. Let's see, this is the black. I wear this a lot as you can see. I, I like to wear black. And this one is the purple. I tend to ombre it with the red because it looks really nice. And this is my lip gloss from Giordana. It smells really nice. Like it's a clear lip gloss for like $150 and it smells nice. Um, and I have this. This is rosewood. I use this when I'm doing like going for more nude looks. It's more like a peachy nude-ish on lippy. So I have this one. Then I have this. I don't know where this is from. I've had this for a while. It is finished. It's a red but stuff still in there. So I use my brush and take it off because it don't done out yet. And I have, let's see. This is also another pink from the same brand as this but the brand rub off a long time. So I have this one too. Next it's time for my brushes. So we're going to start with my uh, face brushes. So this is the foundation brush that I use. It's from Beauty Creations. It's their RC05 brush. It's like really dense. So I use this. I realize that I don't use sponges anymore. I really use my brushes. So I have this one. Then I have this is from Clean Colors, a dual ended brush. I use this to put on my foundation and then this to blend it out. This is from e.l.f. It's a stippling brush. I use this one to blend in my uh, contour because I use my concealer. So I use this to blend this in. This is just a generic fan brush. I don't really use this anymore. I used to use it for highlight but it's really so big. I don't have control over it so I don't use this one anymore. This I used to blend in my... Uh, this, is a, this is an angled brush. I used to blend in my concealer. and. Like under eye concealer, my, my eye when I'm priming my lids. Yeah, this one. Uh, this is from Clean Color. It's an ankle brush. I use this for my contour, for my powder contour. Uh, this, I use this one for my blush. It's also a small, fluffy brush. And this, I use for my bronzer. Uh, it's from e.l.f. It's a powder brush but it's nice and fluffy so I use it. Is it for powder? Is it for bronzer? Is it for everything? Else? Everything is just something else in this collection. Let's see my color. So the good thing about my eyebrushes is that I have seven of these. These are from Carla. They're the 311 blending brushes from Carla. So anytime you see me doing my eye look more time, I'm using these. I have these white ones. This is a collection of 12 from B Place 876 as well. I, you have um, packing brushes, you have bending brushes, you have smaller bending brushes, you have uh, flat brushes that I use for my concealer. I also have this. This was a flat brush and it just snipped it. This is what I use to blend in my uh blend out my pencils for my eyebrows. Um okay, this one is from e.l.f. I think it's just a really a small pencil brush that I use for my under eye and for like my crease sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, all the other brushes are just multiples of the rest of them. So yeah, I need to buy some more eye brushes because sometimes I can't but I feel like switch out brushes or clean off brushes when I'm doing my face or thing. But yeah, that 
is practically my full collection. My mirror that I'm always looking at. This is from uh, Beauty Cr Beauty Bogo. This is from Beauty Bogo. It's an LED mirror, but I have the ring light, so I don't want to censor trying to tell honestly. But yeah, that. I forgot one thing. My setting spray. This is from Milani. This is the Make It Last, which ironically is not lasting because it's almost done. But yeah, this is my last step. Last, last step for real this time. But yeah. No, it's not. I have a couple more stuff. I have a highlighter from LA Girl. This is the 60 watt. I never know it come in different shades. So I bought a 60 watt thing came from the only one. Imagine me make my tone and realize I have 10 shades. So I need to buy some more. And I have some like prism metals from like J Cat. I don't want to use it honestly that because it just blend out into nothing. But yeah. And that is the end of my collection. It don't know. Wonderful. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and the other one that I'm gonna put up after this hopefully. So you can like, comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.